This should be the last of this sequence of videos. Uh, okay, I found my sheet, and I remembered what the numbers I put on the handout. The flux out of the circle down here is 2 pi. And the flux out of the circle here is minus 4 pi. And I claim that that allows us, and that, together with the information that a divergence is equal to 0 of f, allows us to calculate any closed curve integral we want without any parameterization, any calculus really at all. So for part A, we want, um, let's say C3 is the circle of radius, I don't know if I'll do every one of these, of radius 1.5 center 0 minus 1 with the usual outward orientation. Okay, so here's the two points where something interesting might happen. C3, circle of radius 1.5 with center 0 minus 1, that's here. What was our reference circle? It actually, if I draw the reference circle more carefully, I think it was exactly this circle. Didn't really matter. So I want to know how much flux is, how much is flowing out of this guy, but I know how much is flowing out of this guy. Again, the region in between is something on which Green's theorem applies. So let me do this one carefully, because I want to make sure you guys know how to write this down carefully. Um, the integral uh, around C3 of the flux of this guy minus the integral around C, this was uh, C1, I guess. The flux of this guy, I'm claiming those are going to be equal, and I claim those are the difference is going to be zero. Well, that's because together, this minus this is exactly the boundary of region D where I've just drawn the region D. And when I've got an integral over a boundary, that's where one of our big theorems applies. The flux out of a boundary is the integral of div f, and you've got to check that you were talking about a region where it really applies. Well, yeah, this region D doesn't include any points where the function is not nice. It was assumed to be nice everywhere but at these two points, and the divergence was assumed to be zero everywhere except at those two points, and so that's equal to zero. So these guys are equal, and therefore this guy is equal to uh, 2 pi. So this, the, the flux out of here was 2 pi. Okay. So we can do that with all kinds of things. Let's do, um, let's do D. I'm going to skip to D, and I'm going to do everything. C6. Radius equals 3, and the center was, um, actually no, let's do C5, let's do C, sorry. This is C, C5, radius equals 3, and center equals 0, 0. Because that's, that's probably the most interesting one, or one of the more interesting ones. So here's, you know, plus 1, minus 1, and here's center radius 3. Well, roughly speaking, it's like that. And so I know this circle and this circle. That was C1, that's C2, there's C5. And I claim that the integral, the flux outward through C5, I claim it's just the sum of the flux outward through C1 and the flux outward through C2. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this minus this. Because, lo and behold, we can draw a region D whose boundary is exactly C5 with the usual orientation, the one it, that we care about, minus C1 and C2 with the usual orientation, because it's really plus C1 and C2 with the inward pointing orientation. And so, hey, look, that's exactly an integral over C5 with a plus and C1 and C2 with a minus. And so that's the integral over the boundary of D, which is the new D here compared to, to the other ones. F dot N. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, yeah, that's a single integral still. I haven't used the divergence theorem yet, but now I'm going to. That's the integral over D of div F dA. And that's zero. 
So it's really, to make to prove this carefully, you do actually have to quote the divergence theorem, and you have to tell me what region you're looking at, and you have to make sure that it's a region on which, on which the divergence theorem applies. If I had tried to use a region like this, and just compared C5 to C1, that wouldn't be legal, because then I'm stretching it across a point uh, which is not in my universe where, where this, this thing is good. Okay, I'm going to skip number nine, which is the last thing, because it's more about the computer. But this, this is, a, I think, a good place to stop.